looks at the world which reflects who they are. And they take cues and validations from, um, from people around, from authorities around, from um, caregivers around. And this does shape their thinking and their choices too. Namaste, I'm Annapurna Kamat and my connect with Sparkling School has been through the Jakkur Interaction Program. The students of Sparkling Minds come to the Jakkur Lake and work on different projects at the lake. This is a very interactive child-centric program because the children get the knowledge from their textbooks into the field and are working in different projects and this helps them experience a lot of real life world and also take it back to their uh, schools and interact with their faculty and teachers and get more uh, insights about the various things that is happening around them. So this is a wonderful program from Sparkling uh, Mind School and uh, I think this is the most uh, essential differentiator that makes them a different learning environment. I think understanding the empathy framework has helped us as a family to look at each other more empathetically. Uh, we are still learning it and uh, I think understanding that there is something like a need for one's behavior, it just helps me establish a frame to look at uh, even if it is my husband or my son and see why they might be doing this. Sometimes in a design process, being child-centric really comes down also to doing the right thing in the right way because children will question and you have to, you have, to have the right reasons for doing something. And that has really figured itself out and is continuing to do so in the process that we are doing together. Education should be about enabling children to develop their sense of agency in their voice, yeah. right? Uh, and that's the exact opposite that happens. By the time a child has passed through a system, they're very clear that you know their voice doesn't matter and they have no agency of this world and this world is doomed to, to, to whatever, you know, whatever is going to happen is going to happen, right? And I can't do anything about yeah. it, right? That's the worst outcome that you can actually hope yeah. to expect in an educational yeah. uh, setting. Everybody is looking at somebody who's come alive and one of the most mm, beautiful ways in which people come alive is with a sense of purpose, right? It is where a passion meets a problem, <laughs> right? Where a purpose intersects, right? And the higher education then can serve the purpose through the skill development that they provide right, right so the right. person recruiting them into that university also is very clear that this child will carve a path for themselves and they contribute to the world